So in this short little video I am going to show you uh, how to install a vise. Uh, first thing before you bring it over wherever your vise is to look at the bottom make sure there are no chips just like we wiped off the top before we indicated the uh, head. Uh, chips are the enemy in this one. Um, if you get chips underneath the vise that will throw it off when you're indicating it in and when you're tightening it down and it will damage the uh, the top of the table, the bottom of the vise, it's all just not very a good idea. So just make sure you wipe it down good and solid. We're going to take these T-nuts with the uh, bolt and a washer, uh, sliding it into the T-slots and into the little space on the side of the vise. What we're going to do with this vise is we're only going to tighten one side. We're going to tighten this right-hand side. I like to do that on the right-hand side. I always do everything from right to left. Um, probably because I am right-handed and that's where I it's easiest to get to um, and we want to make sure the left side is still loose so we're gonna go ahead and uh, touch off on our indicator uh, I'm using the same test indicator that we use to indicate the head um, you can use any type of indicator you might just have to open the jaws up a little bit more we have different ones there we got several styles of indicators in the shop so um, there's really no reason why you, you know, several of you can't be doing it at the same time. So once we get to, uh, we'll, we'll just sort of get it roughed in. I'm going to take a little soft hammer and we will tap that in to where it looks like it's closer to zero and we will move in on this indicator now so we can uh, get a closer look at it there we are I had moved it to zero we're gonna go ahead and uh, move it back to the right like I said I like to do everything from the right side moving from right to left uh, that way I'm not chasing my indicator back and forth this is a lot faster to do it this way um, so you can see it actually moved quite a bit so what we're gonna do is move the table so, so that uh, the indicator is at zero again there we go and we're gonna go ahead and wrap it to the left when we get to the end of the vise we'll make an adjustment again and that had moved quite a bit once again so we'll uh, at this point we're just going to uh, tap that around we're not going to worry too much about getting it right at zero because at this point it's not important uh, we just want to get it closer uh, we'll start getting a lot more precise it's tinier there see it still is about ten thousandths out even though we're zero on that side so now we'll move the indicator back to zero by moving the table and we'll wrap it to the left. When we get to the end of the vise, we'll stop again. Now we'll now we'll actually be a little closer to making adjustments here. Move it back to the right. And it looks like we're pretty darn close. This, this indicator's pretty precise. You can see where there's little dips and whatever from uh, indentation. So we're going to move to the left again, make sure that it didn't move. It looks like it's within one thousandth and for the most of your projects that you'll be doing, a thousandth is close enough. If you need to be closer we can indicate it on the vi on the grinder and uh, surface part into square. So we're there, we're going to go ahead and tighten it up and tighten the left and the right. They're both tight make sure it doesn't move we'll go all the way to the right again and it looks like we've got less than a thousand that's really good so we'll go ahead and take our wrench and uh, tighten this down and we're ready to move on to setting a piece in there and edge finding 